What's up guys, Axis here bringing you on another Cinema 4D tutorial and today I'm going to be showing you how to do HDRI in Cinema 4D which will basically improve your reflections and you'll barely need to do any lighting uh, so first off I'm just going to open up a Lightroom uh, yeah. and I'm going to create a sphere and this is what we're going to be reflecting off and then from here we're going to create a sky and then we are going to need to get some HDRI images. Um, I'm going to just save this one here, which is inside the studio. Uh, so just save this. I've already got it. Cause I've done this tutorial a bunch of times because I was using some... Uh, what's it called? Open Broadcaster, but it was failing. So hopefully Camtasia does me some good. So create a new material. Then in colour, we are going to add the HDRI that we got. Don't uh, make a copy of it. And I'm going to uncheck specular, close this window, and drag this onto our sky. Now you can see that we have the sky reflecting in the background, which is not what we want. Or in my case, I don't. So I'm going to go to right click Cinema 4D Tags and Compositing. Uncheck Scene by Camera and Scene by GI. And then when we render this, you're not going to see anything because there's not our object with the reflection tab. Uh, so then we'll create a new material and then I'm going to check uh, reflection, go to texture and resin. And once we've got that, uh, well you can use any kind of texture, but I'm going to use that one because I think it looks nice. Drag it onto the sphere and as we render this, we should now see that there's a reflection of the uh, sky, which is a really nice effect. Um, and you could even render out your own scenes and put them in the material. And I'll even show you without lights, this is an amazing way of lighting your scene without using lights or anything. So really it's just handy. Because once you move about the scene with your camera, you see it all reflecting and it'll just look amazing. So um, yeah, I'll just render this out with ambient inclusion so that you can get some good shadow effects in there. And uh, yeah, so that's basically it for this tutorial. I know it's a short one, but uh, it really helped me out with uh, some of the reflections and stuff. And it really improved the qualities of your intro. So I'll see you guys in the next one. And remember to suggest some uh, ideas for next tutorials in the description because I really need some new ones. Uh, so yeah, I'll see you guys next time.